Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be looking at games releasing from the 26th of February up until the 4th of March, and it does seem as things are just starting to crank into gear after the inevitable slow start to any new year. We have a few interesting looking indie games and a big game that I'm sure a fair few people are looking forward to. So what's coming out this week for the Switch? Well, let's find out. A quick look first at a couple of games that are already out then and let's begin with a game that made a blink and you'll miss it appearance at the recent Nintendo Direct. Well I must have blinked because I did miss it and that was Getsu Fumiden Undying Moon. Getsu Fumiden was an action adventure game that released for the Famicom back in the day via Konami and this sequel takes the roguelite's route as from what I've heard it's very similar from a gameplay perspective to Dead Cells. It has a Metacritic score in the mid 60s with the general consensus on there being that the beautiful visuals do hide a game that whilst having a lot of potential just isn't as polished as the aforementioned Dead Cells. Take that for what it is, I mean I haven't played it myself, perhaps if you have you can let us know your thoughts about it in the comments section. It sells for £22.49 or your regional equivalent. And the other game we'll look at for those already out is Moto Roda MC. This game actually first came out back in 1992 for the PC Engine CD and was the third game in the Moto Roda series. This entry plays from a top-down perspective, akin to something like Super Sprint or Super Off-Road, and I do love top-down single-screen races such as these, as long as the controls are up to it, so hopefully that is the case here. The PC Engine or Turbo Graphics was never really a thing in Europe, it didn't come out in the UK, so I have very limited knowledge of this series. Do feel free to educate me in the comments section, and this will cost you £5.99. Looking at the games coming out this week, and the first one is 100 Days Winemaking Simulator. Now I am a big fan of business simulation games such as Theme Park, and this could be the business sim I never knew I needed. You'll need to choose which vines to grow, learn how to grow them, and when to harvest, and then you'll have to decide which wine to produce and attempt of course to sell it. It goes on to mention needing to decide which yeast to use during fermentation, customising bottles and labels, and managing marketing and social activities. Honestly, as much as I know nothing about wine, I take a cup of tea over wine all day long, this does sound really appealing. It's selling for £26.99, which without a demo is too much for me to take a punt on, but hopefully it ends up working as well in practice as it sounds as it should in theory. In the end, if you ask me, it will be worth it. The next one is Far Changing Tides, which is an atmospheric adventure game following the journey of a boy and his ship as he embarks on a quest to find a new home. This is a follow-up to Far Loan Sails, which is also on the Switch, although this time around the setting has switched to one of a much stormier disposition. You'll need to navigate the elements in this flooded and sometimes hostile environment, traversing ruins of a once great society in search of new beginnings. It very much looks like quite an experiential game with some environmental puzzles to overcome and it will cost £14.99 or your regional equivalent, but it does have a discount of 10% off until the 1st of March. Next game then is Conan Chop Chop, which describes itself as a party roguelite for one to four players. It is a top-down adventure game where you'll need to take on a number of enemies, upgrading your village and yourself in terms of skills and abilities. You can play in solo, local co-op or online, and there are a number of characters to choose from, including of course Conan the Barbarian himself. You'll be grabbing loot, armor and weapons, and it will cost you £16.99 if you are interested. Yeah. We are kitted out now. Then we have Little Orpheus, which is a platformer which was inspired by classic movies such as Flash Gordon and The Land That Time Forgot. You play as protagonist Ivan Ivanovich, who must explore lost civilizations, undersea kingdoms, prehistoric jungles, and lands beyond imagination, so says the blurb. This is a remastered version which also includes the bonus ninth episode, A Rush of Onion to the Head, and has the Lost Recordings mode. 
It will sell for £9.99 or your regional equivalent and it releases on the 1st of March. Coming out on the second then is Zombie Rollers Pinball Heroes, which calls itself a mashup of classic pinball, zombie defense, and a roguelite. Now I love pinball games. I love both compilations of real and authentic pinball machines, but I also love games that use pinball mechanics in inventive ways, such as Yoku's Island Express, for example. And whilst this looks completely different to that game, of course, I do like the almost pinball tower defense that this one goes for. It looks like it has some boss battles thrown in there as well, which is really interesting, and the cell shaded type graphics are appealing. It's going to cost you 13 pounds, but again, it does have a discount of 10%, this time up until the 18th of March. Next there is Primordia which is inspired by classic point and click adventure games. Set in a post apocalyptic world bereft of life, two robots undertake an epic journey to a fabled city of glass and light. There are alternate endings, a developer commentary mode and hidden secrets that lend themselves to a second playthrough and I do like that desolate sand swept setting. For those interested it will cost £13.49 when it releases on the second. Welcome to Metropole, the city of glass and light. You are safe. Look at all those lights! It's amazing! And finally for the week then, out on the 4th, is Triangle Strategy. This is of course a tactical RPG developed by Square Enix and published by Nintendo. It uses the same 2D HD style that Square used in Octopath Traveler to great effect as you command a group of warriors in a tangled plot where decisions make all the difference. Your choices bolster one of three convictions, utility, morality and liberty, and your convictions will influence how the story unfolds. I believe there is some sort of voting system, the scale of conviction it calls it here, which will determine certain story points and change the direction your playthrough is going. This has a demo of course so anyone interested can give that a try, plus we have a preview video up on the channel if you want more information before our full review drops soon. It will sell for standard Nintendo pricing £49.99 or your regional equivalent. So there you have it then, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of these games interest you? Are you going to pick any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget, if you do need eShop credit, you can get eShop cards from our website, switchup.gg. Link is in the top pinned comment. And up until the end of February, which by the time this goes out will be a day or two left, you can get 10% off of your order. It obviously saves you a bit and it helps the channel out at the same time, which is very much appreciated. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.